Disclaimer. This tutorial is for informational and educational purposes only. The misuse of the information in this page can result in criminal charges brought against the persons in question. How Reverse Shell Works In a normal scenario, when using a remote system access tool like SSH, it's the client who initiates a connection request to a target machine. There, the server, a SSH daemon, is listening for the incoming request. Once received, it performs authentication and, if successful, an interactive connection is established. This is called the bind shell, and it is easy to block from attacks. Common firewall setups will block incoming traffic to port 22, and only allow ports 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. Reverse Shell tries to circumvent these protections by reversing the roles. It is the target machine that initiates the connection request to the user end. Netcat can be used to both set up a shell listener and initiate reverse shell connections from the victim machine. Here's a quick example to set up a shell listener. The command above would launch a NC server listening on port 4444. This would be done on the attacker's side. Note that the shell server is binded to a public IP address on the attacker's side. On the victim side, the attacker would initiate the interactive shell connection with the following command. The command above runs command exe after connecting to the attacker's shell listener, thus establishing the reverse shell. <laughs> 